Hello friends and welcome to the Crypto Stacker channel. My name is Dean. If you're watching my videos for the first time, please know I only make them for entertainment, education, and for community building in the crypto space. Today's video is a follow-up from yesterday's video where we talked about the price mechanisms of cryptocurrency, and in this case specifically Terrarium, how increasing market cap causes an increase in the price, and how far you have to move up in market cap to be able to burn zeros. Somebody had asked a question, is it possible for Terrarium to burn five zeros? So we looked at that. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. If you haven't seen it yet, I would highly suggest you watch that one before watching this one. It'll just make more sense. In today's video, we're going to look at the other side of the tokenomics and the fact that Terrarium is a deflationary coin, meaning that every time somebody purchases or sells it, a certain amount in that transaction is burned, reducing the token supply. As the supply reduces, every token is worth more, holding the market cap constant. Okay, so we'll get into that. Sounds like a lot, but I've laid it out, hopefully, pretty nicely in a spreadsheet. Okay, before we do that, I just want to look at the fundamentals for Terrarium for the last 24 hours. Terrarium, today is May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo to those of you celebrating. Uh, up seven holders from yesterday. Market cap is down, but interestingly enough, our ranking is up by 11 spots to 351st of all cryptocurrencies. And this has to do with what I discussed a little bit yesterday too, which is I believe that Terrarium is reaching a floor price where the whale investors and those of us who are diamond handing are essentially going to hold this at this price until we start building off of that. Uh, if the wells were to start selling, yes, I could see this going further, but for now, it's holding pretty constant in this range right here. Price currently 80225. The volume in the last 24 hours, 162,000. The burn's still sitting at 5151, and about 300 billion tokens burned in the last 24 hours. This seems low to me, and it makes me wonder if Etherscan has updated their data, but um, that's where it sits. All right. Let's jump over into the other spreadsheet and jump into this conversation about the burn. All right, I'm going to start by, yes, I've already increased the size a little bit. Should make it a little easier for you guys to see. So this was yesterday's discussion. Today we're talking about the burn. So the current market cap for Terrarium is 116 million. It's a little lower than that. This is the market cap carryover from yesterday. Uh, Shiba Inu and Doge, I'm pulling them into this discussion to give you some reference as to what the potential for this project could be. Shiba Inu and Doge are community projects. Shiba Inu has a little more use case than Doge. It's got Shiba Swap and some partnerships where Doge is mostly hype and meme and um, just strong community ability to purchase it on every platform, basically. So it's uh, currently sitting at 17 billion, but did reach a high of 55 billion at one point in time. So we're gonna use these market caps to reference the potential for uh, Terrarium in terms of price. Okay, if we were to look at the current, we're sitting here somewhere in the neighborhood of eight zeros to one. As we start to burn the supply, right? We're currently 51.51% burned. So if we were to burn 60% of the supply, leaving 40 quadrillion, you can just see what I'm doing here. You know, we're burning 70%, 80%, 90%. Well, if we just isolated the burn and we didn't worry about the market cap, you can see that we would have to get in this range right here, 90% burn to drop a zero. At a 99% burn, we would drop another zero. Okay, so that would burn two zeros from where we are currently just by burning down the supply. So you got to think of this in terms of like lemons or some commodity. If we had 10 lemons that were worth a dollar a piece, but the market for lemons, the total value of all the lemons in existence was $10, right? So it's $1 times 10, $10. Well, if we lost half the supply, they went bad in the store, but the market cap still worth $10, now all of these lemons are worth $2. And if nine of the 10 spoiled and we only had one left, the market cap's still $10. The price is now $10 for one lemon. Okay, that's effectively what's happening here. As the supply goes down, 
the value of each coin goes up. Okay, now, if we were to reach Sheeb's market cap, you can see we would actually burn two zeros from where we are right now, just based on the market cap. Now, Terrarium's top market cap was 1 billion. This is 10 times that. I think it's very possible that Terrarium could see this market cap if the development team continues to execute on their plan and bring out the use cases, Terrarium gains popularity, users on the platform. I could see an $11 billion market cap for Terrarium. I don't think it's out of the question at all. So we would burn two based on the market cap and then at that 90% burn level, you'd go to five and then four. So that would be four zeros burn from where we're at right now. If we get to Doge's, we're kind of in the same boat here. Um, but if we were to catch their high market cap, and now this is a real stretch from where we're at right now, we would start with one less zero. So by the time we get to the 99% burn, we're down to three zeros in that equation. Okay, so you can just kind of see what's going on here. I am going to make this spreadsheet available if you want to examine it closer. Um, there is a fun part here in the end where you can input your token count and get some estimates of what your tokens would be worth. Okay, so this little yellow box right here, I've got 100 billion in there right now. This is the only field that you'd need to mess around with to see what your uh, bag could potentially be worth. Now, in order to make this work, I'm going to share a link for the spreadsheet, but for you to use it, you'll have to go to file, make a copy, and call it whatever you want. You can call it my worksheet. It doesn't matter. You can literally call it anything you want. Okay. You can put your quantity in here. So I've got a hundred billion, but I'm going to change this for fun to one trillion. Okay. There's a trillion coins. So currently, one trillion coins worth about $2,200. If we burn 60% of the supply, $2,900. By the time we get to 90% burn, 11,000, and 116,000 at a 99% burn. Okay, that's a long way from where we're at right now. Okay, we've got a long way to go to get there. But over time, burning plus increase in market cap can do big things to your bag. So again, if we were to 10x from where we are right now, which is Terrarium's high, so this also should be very achievable, a trillion tokens would be worth 29,000. At that 90% burn, you would be 100,000 air, 116,000. And at 99%, you'd be in the millions category, 10x market cap, 99% burn. If we reached Shiba Inu's market cap, current market cap, you can see here again where your current bag alone would be worth 278,000, okay? So $2,200 to 278,000, your wife, your friends are gonna think you're a genius if you hold and we were able to achieve this 11, 11 billion market cap, okay? Um, you'd reach a million dollars at the 90% burn in that case. And so looking at the Doge all-time high, just based on really relatively close to where we're at right now in terms of circulating tokens, you could be a millionaire if the project hit $55 billion, Doge's high market cap. So you have access to this. You can put your token count in here and dream a little bit, okay? This is just for fun. I don't know what's actually going to happen. I'm not trying to infer that any of these things are going to happen, but... It's just interesting to know that if you're able to hold on or how much of a bag do you need to get yourself to a million dollars, you know, it's just kind of for fun. And down here, it shows you at today's prices what it would cost you to buy uh, a billion, 10 billion, 100 billion and a trillion tokens. OK, so uh, hopefully that makes sense. I know that it's a little bit complicated, but I like numbers and I like thinking through things. This just kind of gives you an idea of how this price mechanism in crypto works. So hopefully this helps you understand how you've got two ways to win with Terrarium. One is an increasing market cap. The other is decreasing the supply of tokens through the burn mechanism. All right, I'm going to close it out today by just showing you my reflections. For the last 24 hours, I received 122,684,000 in reflections. Brings my total to 24,625,000,000 since February 21st. 
worth about 57 bucks right now. So, um, you know, like I just showed in that spreadsheet, these with some market appreciation, some burn going on, could eventually be worth a substantial amount of money. So Terrarium Project, Terrarium Developers, keep up the hard work. Let's uh, carry this community to some real financial strength and stability. Guys, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me for the video. Check back with me soon. We'll watch our crypto stacks grow together.